YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. Doesn't look like much. I went to both of my saver stores, which on Monday in my area are 50% off all used items. <clears throat> Excuse me, this does not include a lot of their stuff they had for Halloween. And also they have gloves and socks and hats and scarves and things like that that are red tag that does not include those as well. Um, those stuff, I don't know, those are probably on par with even Walmart. <laughs> There's Inky. Inky, say hi. Okay, he's not interested. <laughs> so, well, let's jump right in and show you what I got. Um, first of all, I haven't seen these in a while, but these always sell for me. I know people laugh and make fun of me for buying these all the time. But this is a bird clock. It chimes or chirps at the hour. And it was only $3. Here, you got to see these green eyes. Look at these green eyes. Is it inky? <laughs> he is so sweet. He's a good boy. And I hung up a little uh, suet cake out there for the birds to come. So he has uh, uh, full-time entertainment when they're showing up. Yeah, we're getting snow today. It was so warm. Now it's snowing. So... Who knows what this weather is up here in northeastern Ohio. So uh, let me show you the tops that I got. Um, I did get my daughter a couple of things. Uh, she was shopping. She's going back to school. Her semester is starting in a couple of weeks. So I won't show you those, but here's what I got to sell. This is a woman within. It was $3, three and a quarter. It is a 4X. It is such a cute shirt. It has this embroidered design. And then it gets lighter toward the bottom. Isn't that really cute? This is a short sleeve, but uh, that will go on eBay. This I was kind of thinking about keeping, but I'm not real sure. It looks real taupey on the camera, but it's actually a gray. Uh, this was, uh, what, three and a quarter. I don't recognize this name. It's logo, Lori Goldstein, three X. Is that a two X or a three X? Oh, it is a three X. Okay, I don't know if it's going to fit. We'll see. But it's got these really cute flowers made out of this real thin material that lines the bottom. This is a three-quarter sleeve. But isn't that cute? So I'm going to try that on. I don't know. If it doesn't fit, I'll sell it. Um, this one is a Catherine's, uh, I think, yes, 4X. This was four and a quarter. It's got this, this stretchy, you know, pleated. It's not a super thin material, but it's more of a dressy material. And the cool thing about this shirt is it is, I believe it's a three quarter sleeve. So it's pleated all the way down except for the bottom. Isn't that sweet? And it's also got the cold shoulder opening. So it's got a lot going on. I don't know, you look at it and you think, oh, that's kind of maybe a little old fashioned, but then you see the sleeve and the cold shoulder, and I don't know, I think that kind of makes it a little more modern. So that one I will be selling on eBay. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm very scatterbrained today, so you'll have to forgive me. This, uh, the clock, I probably put uh, 10 to 12 on that. I always like to tell you what I'm gonna put it up for in my booth. Uh, these shirts will go on eBay. This is really sweet. Um, this one is a 3X. I think it's going to be, it's way too big for me. Uh, it's four and a quarter. It's this really thin, non-stretchy denim, but it's, you know, very, very light. And the sleeves are so sweet. They're three quarter. But isn't that cute? Oh, that's adorable. Um, and then I got this Torrid shirt which is a size three and it was 350 and look it's got these teeny tiny little sharks all over it <laughs> i showed it to my daughter because she likes some of their tops and she's like mm, eh. the sleeves are short and she's like eh, they're a little too short for me uh so she's like no go ahead and sell it <laughs> so those are all going on ebay um the other uh, hard good type items i got i got this very cute metal utensil it says on it uh, for your kitchen uh, it's in very good condition it looks new uh, fiddle and fern is the brand galvanized utensil crock utensil 
crock. And it was originally sold at TJ Maxx for seven. It was a dollar ninety nine, and then of course half price. It was only a dollar. So that'll probably go in my booth. I would say eight to ten dollars, <laughs> or maybe eight. <laughs> Might be pushing it a little bit. Um, I have a nautical area, so whenever I see anything nautical, I like to pick it up. This is a very popular color. It has been in the past. Uh, still, people like this color. This is a uh, very dusty <laughs> place to put in a candle. And then you can see it through the different holes. Isn't that cute? So that was only $2.50. And then for summer, I got these two uh, Don't Bug Me lawn chair candles or Adirondack chairs. It says Citronella Blend, so I'm going to have to make sure I put that on the, uh, on the label or on the price tag because you don't want to burn those indoors. <laughs> And then these, I think I made a boo-boo on these. Um, uh, they are bookends. They are marble. They're really cool looking. Um, they're very nice. But they're individually priced. And I guess I thought they were for the set. So I did pay five for both of these. So usually they'll put on here and they'll put times two. But I don't know. I guess that got away from me. But these will sell really good. I'll probably put those for, uh, I don't know, 16, 18 bucks. So I'm not going to worry about the, you know, $5. These, I probably will put $4 on each. I'll sell them separately. Oh, I didn't tell you how much these were. These were four. So yeah, I buy stuff seasonally as I find it. And then it goes uh, into a bin. And then I pull it out when that season rolls around, so it works out really well. I only found one piece of fabric today uh, that I liked. It's got these itty bitty stars on it. It looks black, but I believe it is a navy blue. It was only a dollar. There's at least two to three yards on here, so that will be wrapped up and go in my booth. Um, this I saw, I didn't even get a chance to look it up, but I thought, eh, for $2.50 I would get it. It is a green science potato clock. <laughs> the only other thing, too, is when I look these items up and I just do a quick scan, like on eBay, you can uh, hit search an item uh, and you can type it in or you can do the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the UPC. But this has one over it, so I was like, mm. And then it got away from me and I totally forgot. So at this point... Uh, I thought, eh, what the heck, I'll just grab it. No big deal. So that should be interesting. I may even put this in my booth. Who knows? So that's one of those items. I try and look at things like this because I don't want to spend the money. But a lot of times people who shop in my booth wouldn't necessarily shop on eBay. So if I go on there and it's not worth that much, instead of listing it on eBay, I'll just pop it in my booth. I have a little guy area, so I think something like this would look go very well there. Um, I did get, uh, well, I'll show you this, and then the rest of it came in bags. Um, this looks handmade to me, and it was only $1.50. Uh, it's for a little tea light. I thought that was cute. So that'll go in my booth. I'll probably put, I don't know, 6 $7 on it. I got these were in two separate bags of six each, uh, $2.99. So essentially I paid $3 for all of these. Um, our house is an older house, and the light fixtures upstairs have these smaller tips on them, but a lot of the times you can only find them in in smaller wattages, and then you don't get any light from them at all. So these are 60 watt. So these I definitely can use, so I will be keeping these. And then these other two bags, this one was $1.50. Um, not so much interested in these. I'll re-donate because I do not like vanilla scent. Ugh, and I have that in my car. Ugh. So I don't buy like vanilla, cupcake, any of that kind of scents like in candles or uh, anything for my car. But I got it for this. This is a giant box of playing cards. And it has flamingos on them. And as you know, if you watch my channel for any amount of time... I make, uh, I make my price tag hanging tags out of playing cards. So I figure I will get a lot of price tags out of these. It looks like it was originally TJ Maxx, so that's what that was. And then this last item, 
Um, I've, I've been needing some of these smaller travel ones for my bag that I carry uh, back and forth and a little tape. It's got the, the staples and an extra roll of tape and a little staple remover and scissors and I think that's a pencil sharpener so I thought that was pretty cool. So I will go ahead and put that in my uh, toolkit that I use that I take every time I go out to my booth because you never know when you're going to need a little bit of glue, a little bit of tape, or a staple. So this will fit perfectly in that. So I am going to eventually show you my, uh, my booth toolbox. So keep looking for that video. That's coming up soon. Also in there was this little box with some very cute plain cards. Uh, they are from Hallmark. Um, I don't know. Ten dollars. So I don't know if I'm going to keep those. I have plenty of cards. I mainly got it for this. So it was three dollars for the whole bag. So I don't know. Maybe I'll use the cards. Who knows? So that was those two bags. So that is all that I got this week. Um, didn't do too bad. Uh, my daughter went with me. She managed to get out of bed. <laughs> She's been promising the last two weeks to go with me. So I was very glad that she went with me and she was getting very irritated because people push and shove a lot at these stores on Mondays. And she's like, if somebody else bumps into me with their cart, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> oh, that's my girl. So yeah. So she's like, don't expect me to do that anymore at all, ever. <laughs> like, it's fine. It's fine. But she did get some clothes. So she was happy about that. So again, that's all that I got this week. I hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I also uh, have an Instagram and a Twitter that is listed below. I, If you follow me on those, I apologize. I've been extremely bad about uploading here recently, but now that my surgery is over and I've really gotten myself back into the swing, I'm going to make sure that I get posting in there again. So thank you for tuning in, and if you're still here after all this blathering, I truly appreciate it. I will see you guys the next time, and until then, happy picking. Bye!